make no mistake about it, the Big 12 is making their case to add the biggest and best schools from the ACC. It's really pretty transparent if you if you really think and look about it. Look at it. Uh, I'm Garrett Seawright. This is the Daily Huddle uh, audio only version again today. Uh, I messed my back up and I can't sit anywhere other than this uh, big floofy chair in my living room. So forgive me. But we're still talking college football, especially the Big 12 media days going on. And yesterday, Brett Yormark, the Big 12 commissioner, had talked about the comments that he's made in the past about how the Big 12 is open for business. And it, it seems like such a weird statement to make that the Big 12 is open for business because it, not really all that long ago that the Big 12 was open for business to be poached from or potentially be endangered. There, we're not that far removed from people legitimately predicting that the Big 12's days were over and numbered. And since those days of the announcement that Texas and Oklahoma were going to be leaving, it, it, it's been the Pac-12 that has ended. And there are schools suing the ACC to make no mistake about it. Get out of the ACC before the 2036 time frame that they could do so. So while it's crazy to think that it's not, we're not that far removed from the Big 12 being the one that felt like it was on shaky ground. Since then, they've added four schools. Now, I think those four schools, or I guess technically what they've added, eight schools to the conference since that time. Now, four of them, I think, maybe three of them. I think Cincinnati and, and Cincinnati and UCF got into the conference at the exact right time because I don't know that if the options were pick up Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and Colorado, or pick up BYU, Cincinnati, UCF, I don't know that the that everybody that's in that group now still makes it into the conference. And so when you already feel like, okay, well, maybe they've got a, a they're a bit too big for their britches to begin with. The idea that the Big 12 is open for business, and not only for open for business, but Brett Yormark going as far to say, like, there's no point in stopping now. There's no point in saying, like, hey, we are not stopping at this number. If we can get more teams into our conference, we are going to do so. That's not even a thinly veiled... It's not It's not a threat. It's, not, it's nothing more than him saying, Florida, Florida State, Clemson, Miami... Duke, North Carolina, Virginia. If you need a lifeboat, we're here. We're there for you. Because some of those schools, and while I think it's ridiculous, I think it is the dumbest thing possible. The Big Ten is not going to take Florida State and Clemson unless they have a dramatic change of heart in the idea that you have to be a member of the American Association of Universities by being, you know, big dollar research uh, universities that Clemson and Florida State just simply don't meet that requirement right now. So unless they those schools either make dramatic improvements and become members of that organization or the Big Ten has a dramatic change of heart, it's just not a match made in heaven. And for the SEC, who now has all of their media deals with ESPN... And it shouldn't, again, I don't, I don't think academics should matter for the most part. Like, um, should Harvard be in the same conference as, like, West Virginia? No, probably not. But academics, I don't think, should matter when it comes to athletics. But it does. And TV money shouldn't matter when it comes to athletics. But it does. And so ESPN's not going to be on board with Clemson, Florida State, and whoever else wants to defect from the ACC to the SEC Because they've already got the ACC. They've already got North Carolina. They've already got Duke, Georgia Tech, Boston College, Virginia, Miami, Florida State, Clemson. They already own them. And if the only way that the SEC is going to want those schools in their conference is if they're going to make more money. Well, ESPN's not going to pay them more money for what they've already got. 
So you're kind of in a, a rock and a hard place if you look at it from Florida State's perspective, from Clemson's perspective. Where else is available? The Big 12. In the past, it was announced, or I guess not announced, but reported that Fox wasn't all that excited to pony up extra money to the Big Ten for Washington and Oregon, that they weren't, they were kind of in the way of Washington and Oregon joining the Big Ten. Now, it all got settled eventually. But is Fox willing to pay the Big 12 more for Florida State and Clemson or Miami and North Carolina or Virginia, Georgia Tech, whatever the case may be? Maybe. But it's make no mistake about it. When the Big 12 commissioner says, there's no point in stopping now. I don't know what the... Everybody has argued in the past, like the Big Ten has said, like, the the biggest, best, the highest we can go is 20. The biggest we can go is 20 members. That's as big as we can go. And if eight great members showed up on the doorstep, you know what? They're probably going to change that too. And the Big 12 had 18 teams in it. And now it has 16 teams in it. Um, or it's completely all messed up that the Big Ten has 18 teams in it and the Big... The SEC has 16 teams in it, and everybody is marching towards a number that they don't know what that number is, where that official finite number of, oh my gosh, we are officially too big as a conference, because nobody has told them no yet, money-wise. No TV partner has said, like, that's too much. We can't do that. And so the Big Ten has deals with, Fox, CBS, and NBC. And the Big 12 has deals with Fox and ESPN. And the ACC and SEC have deals with ESPN. Until they don't, until somebody says, because that's what happened with the Pac-12. The first time that the Pac-12 got told, like, hey, ESPN's not going to meet that number. Fox isn't going to meet that number. Apple TV is willing to meet that number, but it's not going to be, or I guess not willing to meet that number, We're willing to give you a little bit of money and you guys are going to have to sell your own subscription services. The conference folded. It crumbled. So the first time that the Big Ten, SEC, Big 12, or ACC are told no is when you're going to see things start to change. But I don't know when, when that is because... If the Big 12 is going to have Florida State and Clemson and Miami in it, are they going to get told no? Probably not. As long as the Big 10 has Ohio State and Michigan and Penn State and Iowa and Wisconsin and Nebraska, who's going to tell them no? As long as the SEC has Florida and Georgia and Alabama and LSU and Texas and Oklahoma, who's going to tell them no? Nobody. Nobody. And until the college presidents really wise it up and really get the berries to say, we're going to leave the hundreds of years of tradition we all have behind. Because it's easy for USC and UCLA to say, okay, the two of us are going to leave our longstanding home behind. It's easy for two of them to say that. But for Texas and Oklahoma and Georgia and Alabama and LSU and Florida, and Ohio State, and Michigan, and Penn State, and Clemson, and Florida State, and Miami, and all of the big-time teams that would be in a quote-unquote college football super league, for them all to get to to grow the cojones to say, we're going to leave what we've known forever behind, go out and create our own thing, you're going to have this situation where Everybody still matters a lot. Everybody is still going to be a big fish in a small pond. And right now, Florida State and Clemson feel like really big fish in what they perceive to be a really small pond. And so while the Big 12, I don't think, is the ideal pond for them, I don't think either one of them is suing the ACC to get out of that conference to then join the Big 12 you view it as a better option than what you've got right now. And when all you're thinking about is dollars, 
it's real easy to look past a lot of things that might not work for you, might not be great, might not be viewed as the ideal fit situation, whatever the case may be. When all you're thinking about is everybody else has more money than we do, and we're going to continue to get left behind, we have to figure out a way to stay relevant and keep up with the Joneses. Those schools don't care about whether or not being in the same conference as Iowa State and Kansas State and Colorado and Arizona and BYU and Cincinnati and West Virginia, they don't care about that at the end of the day. Make no mistake about it. The Big 12 has eyes on Florida State and Clemson. And honestly, probably Florida State and Clemson and Louisville and Georgia Tech and North Carolina and Duke and Virginia and Virginia Tech, whoever they can get, I would imagine that they'd be willing to put together that super conference because in a college football world where I've mentioned this before, where you sold your soul to the TV devil, TV windows matter, and if the Big 12 can go coast to coast, just like the Big 10, if they can get games that can start at 11 a.m. Eastern or noon Eastern and play all the way until games that start at 10 p.m. Eastern where you can get games played at Utah, at BYU, at Arizona, at Arizona State, they're going to take that opportunity. And everybody's going to act like it's a match made in heaven when it's not. But when all you are thinking about is, you know, the... the Adage from from the Dark Knight when the Joker says, like, I'm a dog chasing cars. I don't know what I'd do if I caught one. That's the mindset from Florida State and Clemson right now. Is they, don't, they don't have a plan for what they're going to do after they get out of the ACC. They don't know what the priorities are, what they want most. And the Big 12 is going to capitalize on that. They're going to strike while the iron's hot. If you can get big brands out of your competition, it is now officially a dog-eat-dog dog world. The Big, 12, the Big 12 and Big 10 ate up the Pac-12 because it was vulnerable. And so you're either growing or you're vulnerable. And the Big 12 saying, we're growing. And whatever means necessary they got to do, they're going to do it. So I don't even think they're hiding the fact that they are openly courting the schools from the ACC Because they can see the writing on the wall. They can see that unless things change drastically for the Big Ten, you don't have a spot there. Now, Virginia and North Carolina do in the Big Ten because they're part of the AAU. But Florida State and Clemson don't. Miami doesn't. So when you can see the writing on the wall that maybe the people that should can't, the Big 12 is in a really advantageous spot right now. And... Don't be surprised if a judge rules that the ACC can't keep Florida State and Clemson in the conference till 2036. It ain't long until they'll have a deal in place with somebody else. And I'd expect it to be the Big 12. That'll do it for today's episode of The Daily Huddle. Appreciate you making us a part of your day, however it is, or wherever it is you're doing so. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're getting all the great college football content that we're pumping out. If you are listening on the podcast feed, drop a five-star review. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. See you tomorrow for another episode here of the Daily Huddle.